Hello, my name's Endav and welcome to my studio. So today I thought I'd make a little video about um, this little MIDI controller that you can get for 30 to 40 pounds. It's called the Sub Zero Mini Pad. It's just a generic drum pad controller, really. And uh, your first thought would be to just play some drums, some beats on it. But I've done something a bit different, and it's something anyone uh, getting into music production, they've got their hands on Ableton. Uh, this is for you. So I'm going to show you how to program this as a looper. So the looper is just uh, an audio effect unit on uh, Ableton, it's a stock plugin that comes straight out of the box uh, and basically all I've done here is just program some controls to turn a software uh, effects unit into a piece of hardware essentially um, and what this does is, uh, do you want to zoom in a bit? So I've got this labelled as different channels, so this is all one channel and uh, this is another channel, and this is another channel. So I've got three channels of looping on this. Um, I think it's better if I stop buffing on and I just show you how it works. So here's an example. Okay, so now. So I'm gonna start off by just launching a loop on Ableton, but uh, what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow me to create a new loop from an existing loop. If that makes sense, that's kind of crazy, but I'll show you what I mean now. So here's the sample, it's Renegade Master, I'm sure you all know it. So, I'm going to use this pad that I programmed to start recording the loop, and then this ends the looping point, so it's going to create a loop of whatever's in between me pushing this and this here. So here we go. And then that allows us to make some really interesting rises and stuff. So I'll add some reverb. And then this, I can half and double the loop. So I'll show you now. So that's it. So you can see already uh, where I'm going with this, it's a tried and tested effect. Um, and what I, I got the inspiration for this really from uh, DJing out in the clubs all the time using their Pioneer CDJs and uh, I'm, I'm always finding myself using their loop function on the CDJ and I'll half that loop and create a massive build up from a, a section of another track basically and uh, that's what I've done here because there's no way to do it on Ableton uh, but with hands on you can, you can use the Ableton to make a piece of hardware that does that for you so I've taken this to the next level now really and, I, and I've um, also uh, automated another knob on a different MIDI controller to control the speed uh, and I'm going to show you what that sounds like now because this just you can make really cool uh, build-ups of this so this is what it sounds like so I'm going to set the loop add a bit of reverb and then I'm going to control the pitch So that's pretty crazy, but you can see where I'm going with this and you can make some really interesting effects. So uh, next I'm going to show you how I did this, so you can go off and do it yourself. Okay, so first of all, um, we're going to put this effect on an audio track. So we're going to go to audio effects and you'll find the here, looper. So we'll double click that and here it is, this is, this is where the magic happens. Um, so all this stuff here is what I've assigned to that uh, MIDI controller that I was showing you a moment ago. 
So now I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, now you've got this audio track open with the loop in front of you. You click MIDI on the top right of your screen here. And you're going to click the, the thing you want to assign. So what I've done for each channel is I've got record. So I'm going to assign that. I'm, I'm going to click record. Then I'm going to push that on the pad I want to assign record to. So here we go. That's sorted now. I'm going to do the same with stop here, play, and undo. I found after messing around with this, they're, they're the essential ones you need for for every track, really. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is you can half and uh, double the loop here. So I'm going to click on this half. This is just my cat, who loves spoiling all my videos. Uh, and this is double here. And that's it, you've now got one channel of the looper all sorted and all um, linked to your hardware unit. So you've basically turned a little 30-40 pound MIDI controller into a looping station. Uh, Alright, so I hope you have fun with that and go out and try it out for yourself. Thank you, I'll see you again in the next video. What did I say again? Oh yeah.